I want to welcome everyone here for Prophecy Snapshots. Uh, this is our second day looking at the millennium. Again, this is, for a believer, one of the most exciting subjects because one day we're going to be raptured off the earth and then we're going to take off, we're going to go to heaven, and then seven years later we're coming back to the earth where we're going to dwell for a thousand years. Now let's just see what the Bible says about this. Here in Matthew chapter 16, verse 27, it says, For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father and his angels, and then shall he reward every man according to his works. Now, if you remember yesterday, he says his angels are coming to judge uh, the Antichrist and those who took the mark of the beast. But for us, we're going to receive our rewards. Now, you might remember there in heaven, we had the judgment seat of Christ. So there we are rewarded for one day we're going to be before the Lord, and, and he's going to reward us for all the things of which we've done. But we're not going to realize all of that until we come to the earth and we actually see what the reward is. All right, let's uh, look down here in Revelation 22, verse 12. Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. To give to every man according as his work shall be. Again, all that you do for the Lord, Pour your heart into it because it's going to stick with you for all eternity. So you want to make Jesus, make him the most important person there in your life. Okay, let's just see what it's going to be like here upon the earth in Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2. The mountain of the Lord's house, you see it, Lord's house, shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above all the hills and the nations will flow unto it. Okay, so people upon the earth will flow unto the Lord at least once a year. And imagine God, his home, his house, his temple that he will live in is going to be right here upon the earth. Now, I now also want to see what the earth is going to be like. It's going to be like the Garden of Eden. Isaiah 35 verse 1. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them. For the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. You know, it's very interesting that all around the world, in, in some of the driest deserts, that it was proven that there was tropical veg vegetation around the entire earth. Okay, the Bible told us that. Well, the earth is going to return to that. And one day, you'll be able to run th through, through the forest or jungles and there are no weeds. Uh, we, we don't have to work the ground. There are no thorns. This is a heavenly earth, very much like the Garden of Eden. How wonderful and beautiful in which that is going to be. Look at me in Psalms 23, verse 6. You know, Psalms 23, people like quoting that passage all the time, but they don't know that it's about the millennium. Look at this. Is that the end, or in that passage, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is the millennium. Imagine that. Imagine being with your loved ones. That, imagine being in a world where uh, there's no crime and there's no illness, there's no sickness. Imagine just being living in a world where there's no discouragement or depression or temptation. What a wonderful, wonderful day that's going to be. Now listen, this is what you want to do. Don't do this study just for head knowledge. You want to make every single minute of your life count for God. Only what's done for Jesus is what's going to count for all eternity. And I want you to make that decision. I'm going to start changing some things, or I'm going to start doing some things, and I'm going to start doing it right now. <laughs>